Oh babe, a bunch of people want to meet up for the Annapolis boat show. Do you think we can divert course? Can't be done, we're 700 miles away, the wind's against us and we just can't get there. Oh. We're in the Bermuda Triangle, right? Yeah. You remember Jimmy Cornell? We met him in France and he said yeah. that thing about the Bermuda Triangle. Drive by twice, on board your vessel, through quiet as mice. Then head true north, this step is last, for the transport awaits you navigators, hold fast. fast. I'm Elena, and this is Riley, and this is our home, La Vagabond. <laughs> We've been sailing around the world for the last five years and have recently found ourselves with a stowaway. Meet Lenny. Subscribe and welcome aboard. So we've got one bridge to go under and then we should be in Annapolis. Really looking forward to meeting all of you guys. It should be really fun. Stick around for the video, subscribe if you're new here, and say good day to Lenny. He hasn't made an appearance in this episode yet. As you guys know, our boat's gonna be on display. We kind of nominated our boat because they clean everything and we loved the idea of them taking everything off the boat and then we can be really picky as to what goes back on the boat because we're still trying to minimize, minimize, minimize. Weight saving. I might be able to talk him into waxing the top sides as well. Yeah, we need a wax. So in the meantime, we can't live on our boat, so as soon as we get there, we're gonna be packing our bags and getting ready to move into John's house. John is a patron of ours, and he's been nice enough to let us stay at his house, so. I've spoken to you on the phone, John, but I haven't met you yet, so I'm looking forward to that. And he lives like Thank 15, you very much. 15 minutes from where our boat's Are gonna be. Are you navigating that? <laughs> She's navigating. I might turn around now. Hi. How are you? Good. Okay. Sailing being what sailing is, we had arrived the very latest we could arrive to get our boat ready for the boat show. In a few short days, we'd have thousands of people walking through our boat. Oh my goodness. That was hectic. I can't even believe it. We just packed up our entire life in a matter of like... Two hours? Two hours. If that... Look at these. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Holy heck. I wish we had more time, but the cleaners are coming tomorrow, so we can't be on the boat. So we only had this afternoon to strip down the whole boat, all the things that are important, photographs, personal stuff. Now we're gonna go eat some dinner. Okay, well you don't see this every day. There is a deer running across the front lawn that is covered in water. <laughs> King Tide. I'm quite far behind those words I haven't written. Do any of the faucets have hot water, Elena? Uh, yeah, there is. There's hot water here. Oh my gosh, there's a steamer. Yeah, there's a steamer. What? Good morning, guys. So this is Lenny, Riley, and my room. We have the whole first floor here, and it is like 
stunning. It's huge. John and his wife live here half of the year. We've just officially moved in. We didn't do any filming last night. I'm moving in. We were so tired. So stuff's kind of everywhere, unfortunately, but I've managed to make this little place feel like home. And today we're going to be heading into Annapolis to check out the town, catch up with a few people, help set up our tent, the boat show. Our boat's being cleaned right now. Stuart and Thomas, who you would have seen on the dock yesterday, they had to drive it to Annapolis today. I'm a little bit sad, but this is also awesome. And Lenny has so much room to run around. <laughs> You having fun? <laughs> Don't you dirty those walls. So Bradley's just on the phone to John because he can't work out how to use the shower. Hey guys. It's pretty exciting we've already- It's good to be let in early when it's all being set up. Yeah. I feel, I feel like I'm backstage at a concert. Yeah. Whoa, is this all ours? I assume so. We should set up a disco ball. <laughs> this is not. Why on earth would we do that? <laughs> because there's so much room for activities. So With much aerobics in here, so many activities. We have some fairy lights that are going to be hung up. We're going to be selling merchandise. And I guess we'll open up this gigantic tarp thing here. What's happening? Bloody disaster. We've been moved last minute. This is what you expect and enjoy. You gotta revel in the chaos oh. at the boat show. Yeah, you gotta embrace it. So we've gotta move all of this stuff. Oh. So one cool thing about Annapolis is most of these buildings are from the 1700s. We're walking down Main Street right now. It's really cute. <laughs> Anything to add? It's really cute. <laughs> I tremble and cry. <laughs> oh, Lenny boy. <laughs> One more time. Dancing well to the how much is How cool is this? So John and Kristen, the owners of the house, our patrons, came home last night and uh, invited the neighbourhood around. We had a lovely dinner, we had sushi, we got to meet all their friends which was so cool. And we were saying how difficult parking was because it takes about 40 minutes to find a park in the city. And they're like, you guys should take the whaler. And we're like, yes. So this is their whaler. We're going to make this our ride uh, for the next few days. Woohoo! It's going to make life fun. And we trust ourselves way more with this boat than their car because they did lend us their car. We're not very good drivers. We hung up the rest of our merchandise and got ready for tomorrow when we'd be meeting everyone. After we finished, we went to a nearby park where there was a kids for sale meetup. It's a play on words, don't worry. It's a group of cruisers with kids and they use the kids for sale group to help connect their children with others and to learn more about a life on the ocean with kids. I'll link their socials in the description below. I was totally there for all the cute dogs though. I feel it's important to point out here at the start that we are at a boat show where thousands of people have come to visit us. Because of this, there is a lot of ultra pro SLV rhetoric which could make some people queasy. It would me if I were you. A lot of people saying that we're inspirational, a lot of people saying that we're wonderful people. And you and I know that we have edited this video, which means we have selected clips to create a series of themes, hopefully with enough flow to keep people entertained. Because we have selected the clips, it's almost as good as waving a flag in the air in some sort of self-congratulatory rapture, but the fact is there were a lot of people that travelled a long way to say thank you, and we try to give an honest and objective snippet of our reality as it unfolds. So I hope that this preamble inoculates you against some of the queasiness. I'm Cam Wise, this is Mark Wise, and we're patrons. Michaela. Kyle. And I've been watching Sailing with Vagabond for a while now. We started watching the channel, 
a year or two ago, and we've since bought a monohull, a Morgan 38. We are power boaters who love YouTube. Always wanted to sail, but responsibilities just took me away. I lived the dream with these group. I started binge watching it last summer when I had surgery, and I'm hooked. Hi, this is Soren. He's 11 months old, and he's really excited to meet Lenny. And we flew in from Iowa. We're here from Philadelphia, Pasadena, Houston, Texas. We won't watch a new video from them apart. They always watch it together. They really are have inspired us to uh, go out and do more. I'm working on a 41-foot Dickerson. Going to retire, live the dream, and love you guys. Yeah, and we love Elena's chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. I love you guys. Awesome. How's it going? Look at this. It's for Lenny. And you can take that out. Oh, this is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. You can buy it. There's Lena. I love her. I'm a little upset. That's an old shit. There you go, man. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. We are just catching our breath. This is our friend Hannah and Mike's house, and it's right in town here. So we just met a whole bunch of you guys, and it was really so incredible. We were there till one actually. It was supposed to be 10 to 11.30, but we really wanted to meet everyone in the line. So we're well and truly knackered, and we have sundowners tonight. That's gonna be fun. We get to have drinks on board our boat tonight and watch a sunset. We're meeting and greeting people again tomorrow, and we have a chat tomorrow night at the Yacht Club. High five. High five, Davey. Yay! Yay! Good boy. I never like to be on film because I prefer the delusional version of myself. You don't like being on film? <laughs> that actually like shows up in reality. Yeah. What brings you to La Vagabond? Who can I confront? Um, to meet you guys, honestly. Yeah. I've been following you for so long and watching your videos and I just really wanted to meet you guys in person. Well, I'm glad that we are doing this. Cheers to everyone. Cheers. Cheers, 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 cheers. Cheers, cheers to you. <laughs> One of the main questions we got asked was, does it feel weird having so many people around when we live a life mostly in seclusion? I had a little time to think about it, and I guess it is a little bit odd. Life on the ocean doesn't mean you're away from people all the time, but having 300 people line up for hours to see you, honestly, it just felt so surreal. I danced, got teary-eyed, and overall was overwhelmed with gratitude for all of you. There's a tropical depression and a king tide. As if the boat show wasn't crowded enough. <laughs> this is what we're dealing with. Can I have a picture back, yeah. with you? Sure, I know you we're are. I was trying to follow you to fans. get a picture. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Come get it. Come get it. Ah. <laughs> I got it. You tricked me. Come get it. <sighs> Trying to calm my nerves before this show. And Lenny just wants to get his hands on. Every power cord. No. No. Oh dear. This guy's got the way to go. We got Lenny and Randy. <laughs> <laughs> We're setting up for our presentation with our patrons. There's 240 people who are going to be sitting in here. Follow me. Follow me, side of the horse. After six months rehabbing, Jesse to Italy, I'm going to have to ask you. I don't know. I gotta tell you, we absolutely love you guys. Thank we you. look forward we to your do. video. Yes. 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 Yes.
we were anchored behind you right outside of Hope Town. And we were like, oh, that's them, but like, should we say hi? Should we not? And we want to respect your privacy. Don't sugarcoat it. Well, how do you really feel about it? No, don't sugarcoat it. Seriously, sugarcoat it. Day or night, 24 service. You have to say your patrons, though. Honestly, everything changes. You guys. Tonight, we're going to come up with like a secret handshake. Yes. After a crazy few days, and this kind of being the finale, it was good to let loose and have a few wines with these guys. Riley probably had one too many, but it was well earned. My wife and I are planning for almost 10 years to get out there, do a circumnav. Cool. And we've got like about three years left. Yeah. And yeah, exactly. every time we start like getting down, like, oh, this is so hard, we start like watching your videos. Mm -hmm. Oh man, awesome. All right. This is something to run that I don't know about, but oh, okay. no, I've seen you carting that around all day. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pizza? trying to keep it a secret. It's a pizza. It's got a label on it, which I guess you can kind of get a bit of an idea. So thanks to you guys, this is, uh, this is what we're doing. Yeah. Yeah. How are you going to say? are feeling a little rusty after last night's episode. They carried on for a bit longer after the show. Nothing cures a hangover like a freezing cold morning dip. Oh my goodness, he did it! <laughs> hey! <laughs> it's not as thick as it looks. <laughs> We're getting soaked. Not ideal. <laughs> Well, the boat's nice and clean, but I don't even know where to start because it's raining. We don't really have the space to put all the containers outside and do one by one. Anyway, let's get to it. Riley's just changing Lenny up there. Because he did a poo and then... Riley dropped it on the floor and I laughed so hard that I actually wet myself. Lenny spilled popcorn all over the floor. Still, still some work to be done with that. Uh, floor, <laughs> Lenny, come on mate. Very satisfying though, we are getting rid of a lot of stuff. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, we've done it. We've officially moved back on board and the house is spotless. It feels so good. That was hard. To be honest, we're both exhausted. It's been the biggest week. We're gonna come back to the Annapolis Boat Show next year. It was so much fun. We loved meeting all of you guys. Thanks for waiting in line. Thanks for buying merch, but most of all, thanks for telling us your stories. That is why we come to these events, is to meet you face to face and to hear your stories. It really like... I don't know how many people bought a boat because of us. It's like yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. We kept half apologizing, but also being like, good on you. <laughs> We just have a list of people that we want to thank. So, two patrons of ours that helped us out throughout the whole show, Tiffany and Kent, you guys were just absolutely amazing. We didn't even... Really, really, we could not have gone even one-tenth as smooth without you guys. And also, Jordan and Randy from Untie the Lines, um, they've actually got a YouTube channel which we'll I'll link down up. below. And here. They <laughs> were like filming, like there, there was bits of the show that where Elena and I were we uh, captured some good moments and we pressure. couldn't have done that by ourselves. We yeah. did not have time to set up cameras. We also want to thank David, who's Riley's friend from Australia. He came over and helped us with everything. He was amazing. And of course, John and Kristen, our patrons, for letting us stay in their beautiful home. Lynn from the Charleston Sailing School, Will and Lynn. Lynn came and looked after Lenny in the tent while we were meeting people. Took him walking in the pram when he was getting grumpy. Thanks to all of our patrons that made it to the event. There was a few people that missed out. We managed to sneak in one guy that flew from South Africa. For those of you that missed out, apologies. For those of you that got there uh, and got the so tickets in time, it was amazing. We had so much fun on Sunday night. <laughs> Alright, let's get back to Miller Lee Atlantic. <laughs> I know I don't agree with all the things that I